Good evening, everyone. Reed Wolf here, and today we're gonna play the real Texas. Mostly because this is a really crazy, wild, fun game that I can't get anyone else to play. So you're all just gonna watch me play it. How's that sound? Good. Good. Now, I like I said, I did play this once upon a time, forever ago. Never actually finished it. There was one puzzle that just stumped me, and I got frustrated and stopped. To be honest, other than that puzzle. I don't remember much about this game, so um, let's just start anew and see if life was simpler when you were just a cowboy. On a steel horse you rode. Five years ago you inherited the ranch you grew up on from your uncle. It was an honor, but a responsibility too. Life's gotten complicated. Boy, I hear you, buddy. Sometimes entire days passed where you don't get out of the office. This year, once the season wound down, you decided it was time for a holiday. Sitting behind a desk is no way for a cowboy to live. You decide on England. As a kid, you always dreamed about castles, knights, and dragons. So why not? When the plane took off, it felt like you were leaving reality for a fantasy world. And if you've ever been to England, yeah, that's that's pretty much accurate. You'll be staying at Rockingham Castle, which has been converted into some kind of hotel. A true English chateau, some might call it. Not me, though. That'd be strange. But it does sound like an interesting place. After all, if you can't live like a cowboy, at least you can live like a king. I'm beginning to remember why I like this game already. Now, like I said, really fun game from Kitty Lambda by Calvin French. Takes place in England. Uh, where you go to the real Texas. Music by Yeso, and it is very good. Album's totally free. Probably be a link in the description. Check it out. The real Texas. Where does this game take place? Not the real Texas. After a short drive from the country, from the airport, you've arrived at the Chateau Rockingham's Visitor Parkade. Use the WASD and all that good stuff. Click and hold to walk, press escape to pause. Oh, look at me walk. Look at those paper crafty graphics. There was once a time I didn't like these paper crafty graphics. That time is long gone. Now they feel welcoming, inviting. What is this? Ooh, a pamphlet. I want to read it. I've seen this already. Okay. Uh, so like I said, I don't remember anything about this game. Hey, look, another pamphlet. Let's check it out. Take. Yeah. Can't hurt to have a pamphlet, right? Uh, let's see. What is this machinery? Some kind of a garage door opener. It's not clear how it's intended to work, but it has an electric eye and a vent. And it appears to be something out of the 1950s. So I can, uh, I can look at it. Or I can try some... I'm gonna try... Kick. Wham! That was satisfying. I feel good about myself now. So this game is sort of like a uh, little bit like a marriage of Ultima and Legend of Zelda. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the machine, because the game told me to. I need to be close enough or else it'll just go, eh! Welcome to the pay park. Please pay so that you can park. That is, in fact, how pay parks work. Payment is five pence. Pay. Uh, okay. I don't actually have any pence. So, as I've already demonstrated, I can go to my car here, and I could sit in it, I could look at it, or I could, uh, I could search it. And inside we find... Wait, no, those are what I have on. 
Oh, my hat is in there. I better put that on my head. Don't want to forget it. Uh, my watch. Can't really carry that. Oh, five pence. That's exactly what I need. And as the game has informed me, I can uh, go over here. And I can pay it, which will let me take the five pence, put it in there. I insert the coin in the machine, which makes some interesting whirring noises, but, but refuses to dispense my ticket. After a moment, the display changes. Thank you, please take your parking ticket. And long live the king! The machine is jammed. Well, unjam it. Shake the machine gently and mash the buttons for a bit. In a moment, the display changes. Beep! There's a 10 pence penalty for vandalizing the pay park. Desist in your kicking hoodlum. Kicking? That's a great idea. Take a step back and boom! The parking ticket slides out and lands at my feet. I'll be taking that. Insert into door. Okay, I can do that. And open! Okay. So now I can just slide right on through here and go to the castle. Look at this. It's so pretty. Ah, oh, the bird is struggling in a pool of slime. I bend over and free it, but... Oh god, the slime, it burns like acid! I can drop things to the ground. Ah, it's excruciating. Oh lordy. Oh lordy, it's excruciating. Get off. Get off, get off, get off. Ow. My hands have suffered minor acid burns. God, it's just like Left for Dead all over again. Why does this keep happening? Oh, the porticula says slam shut. Well, only one way to go now. Ah, oh, look at these beautiful gardens. Just lovely. I love taking a stroll in the gardens. It's like I'm taking a stroll in my gardens in Minecraft. Actually, it's very similar to that thing. <laughs> oh. What's this sign say? Welcome to the Chateau Rottingham. Visitors staying the night, please check in with one of our tour guides upon arrival. We hope you have a pleasant stay. Kick! You poke at it with the toe of your boot. That wasn't kicking at all. What happened to the WHAM? I liked that. I wanted to give it the WHAM! Okay, what's this one say? Maintenance access only. Well, then... whatever. <laughs> Guess we'll be going this way. Through the trees. I'm a cowboy. I take the path less traveled. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, this looks like the right place. Front doors, so I can just open these and... Oh no, there's more slime. Oh, it burns. There's one thing I've learned, it's don't stand in the slime unless you need to read this. The Lost and Found, welcome guest. If you misplace anything important, the Lost and Found is immediately to your left. Our staff will replace any misplaced items there. Well, let's see if there's anything to nick. Uh, there's a piano. Somebody lost a piano. Play. Oh, it's a harpsichord. My mistake. I took piano lessons when I was younger, but I need some easy shoot music in order to play. Yeah, no. I, I'm rubbish. We're just gonna leave that alone for now. Maybe scoot on this way. Uh, that has a puzzle and a slot, so we can't go in there. Why is the harpsichord still playing? I stopped. I don't want to keep playing it. Okay, where is this... What? What is all this slime? The great ballroom is behind these. In its heyday, it could host over 200 guests. Okay, let's try something different. Lick! Oh god, he did it. Ugh! It tastes terrible. Well, he did just lick a wooden sign covered in slime. Just throwing that out there, buddy. Hmm. 
Nothing unusual about a portal hovering in the middle of a ballroom of an ancient castle in England. Just poke at it. Oh! Everything is spinning. Thump. <laughs> Voice says, Huh? Who's there? Charles, if that's you, you're a dead man! I've warned you! Old woman. Huh, interesting. I'm gonna keep using this voice in spite of it. Looks like some kind of real life cowboy. Thought all those were extinct. Must have dropped here from reality. Another oddball finding his way here. Healthy, though. Huh. Well, he'll live. That is now her official voice. Oh, and what's this? Fresh lawn ornaments? I'm lucky! Blast it, Charles, you idiot! Well, there's no TNT shortage, at least. Oh, she's talking about those. And that... Click a couple times, and boom! We're back. What? What's this note? You just kind of ignored it. Looks important. This note is written in purple ink in fine cursive handwriting. Dearest lady, we most humbly apologize for the intrusion of these barricades onto your property. It has proven unfortunate and hopefully temporary necessity in preventing the loss of livestock. Thank you for... Thank you most sincerely for your cooperation. It's signed, Charles. I don't see any reason to take it. Let's just follow her into... Okay, I would like to leave, please. No, no, I'm not here. Oh, a visitor, and just in time. That makes two of us lucky, I'll bet. Well then, dearie, welcome to Purgatory! Oh, is that where that portal took me? I'm not the first. But I seem like a nice enough man, so that's... that's... I, I'd like to leave now, please. Please? You're wondering where you are, I can give you a bit of an orientation. Just like college! In exchange, you'll HELP me with a couple of troublemakers. Uh, okay, what, what are you called? Your name is Mathilda. Very... helpful. Job, what is this job you speak of? Yes, well, glad you finally asked. Resident Witch and Armorer. Okay. She's both a witch and an armorer. And this help you need? There's two problems around here. We call one of them Zartan, and the other one Charles. Both of them men, I might add. Well, I'm, I'm a cowboy? It's... okay. Purgatory, tell me, what is this lovely place we're in? Yes, dearie, in a manner of speaking, this is where things go that don't exist, and yet don't unexist. The re-existent plane, which is certainly not heaven, but not exactly hell, neither. It's shaped by those who enter it, so I'd imagine you'd find it familiar. Why, you're here in the first place is an interesting question. The rest of us were all sucked in quite some time ago. So, I'm a newbie. Good. What do you mean by exist, exactly? It's quantum re-exist- oh, jeez, forget I asked. Either you exist, or I do, but probably not both. She pinches herself. Ouch! Why in the hell did you do that, cowboy? Pinch an old lady. Unbelievable! Well, at any rate, there you have it. I'm real. <laughs> what is real, anyway? Everybody's got their own definition of what real is, cowboy. Alright, fair enough. I will give you that. So tell me about... Charles. Charles is an out-and-out! An outlaw! He really boils my blood. First, he's not getting along with any of the townspeople. Instead, he holds himself in this blasted cave complex. Alright, tell me about this cave. Second, his bandits are making a great mess of our town with these barricades. Charles! He says it's to protect his operations. Pah! Okay, what are these operations? I'll let you see that ugliness for yourself if you can ever get in. And, well, if you do get in, you'll put a stop to it, won't you? 
It's sheer madness! What goes on in there? Eventually I get the feeling my voice for her is going to become a pirate. It's just doing a number on my throat right now. <clears throat> Zartan, explain this one to me. A wizard lives under normal conditions in a fortress chipped up beyond her. Sometimes he's been right possessed by something, and you're the one to break the spell. Okay, spell. Oh dear, Wyburn has something of a plan. We'll see how it turns out, but I bet you'll do it. But please, deal with Charles first. Okay. Now you say you're an armorer. I'm going to be fighting wizards and... Charles. I'm going to need the best armor you can get. You really should carry yourself a gun. Everybody around here does. There's a piece you may find suits you well enough in the box in the room over. If you want it, it's yours. Well, I don't need to hear the rest. I'm on it. Gun, 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 gun. Nope, other room. Gun, 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 gun. Gun, 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 gun. Oh! Oh, oh, no. 